Hello and welcome to a lesson on sign numbers and like terms. What this lesson is really about is collecting together algebraic terms, knowing which ones we can collect together, which ones we can't, and how to do so. But we can only do that if we understand sign numbers, how we collect positive and negative numbers together. So that's the start of the lesson. Let's begin by considering this list of numbers here. Plus 3 minus 8 plus 1 plus 4 minus 2 plus 7 minus 3 minus 6 plus 5. I'm going to work my way along the line from left to right to find out what the answer is. Plus 3, take away 8, gets me down to minus 5. Minus 5 plus 1 is up to minus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 is up to 0. 0, take away 2, is down to minus 2. If we add 7, we then up to plus 5. Take away 3, we down to plus 2. Take away 6, we down to minus 4. And if we add 5, we back up to plus 1. So let's write down the answer. This is equal to plus 1. But that's not a very efficient way of collecting them together. So let's see how else I could have done it. I could have written down all the positives first, bearing in mind that the signs belong to the thing that comes immediately after the sign. So I've got plus 3, plus 1, plus 4, plus 7, and plus 5. And now I can write down all the negatives. Minus 8, minus 2, minus 3, minus 6. And now we can look to see how many positives we have. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 7 is 15, plus 5 is 20. So I've got plus 20. Now on the right here, they're all negatives. How many negatives have I got? 8 and 2 is 10, 10 and 3 is 13, and 6 is 19. So I've got 19 negatives. So what we see there is when we're collecting together a lot of positive numbers, we're just adding them to get more positives. But likewise, when we're collecting together a lot of negative numbers, we're just adding them to get more negatives. It's only at this stage that we come to net them off one against the other. Then 19 minuses cancel out 19 of the positives. So plus 20 take away 19 is plus 1, which we've already found. So here, when we've got some positives and some negatives, it's the one that we've got the most of that determines the sign. But it's a subtraction that's taken place. You've taken away 19 from 20 to see how many positives we have. Right, let's look at some examples of putting this to use. Plus 3 plus 5, they're all pluses. So we're adding them together to get plus 8. Now then, minus 5 minus 2, they're all negatives. So we're adding them together to get more negatives. How many? Seven negatives. Now we come to some examples with different signs. Plus 4, take away 1. We've got more positives, so the answer will be positive. 4 take away 1 is 3. Answer, plus 3. Plus 5, take away 9. We've got more negatives, so the answer will be negative. How many more negatives? 9 take away 5 is 4, so that comes to minus 4. Minus 7 plus 3. This time we've got more negatives, so the answer will be negative. Minus 7 plus 3, the difference between them is 4. It's like 3 pluses cancel out 3 of the negatives, and then there are still 4 negatives left. Minus 2 plus 8, this time we've got more positives, so the answer will be positive. How many more? 6 more. And finally, minus 3 plus 3, we haven't got more positives, we haven't got more negatives, they cancel each other out. Minus 3 plus 3 gets you to 0. So that's the basics of it. But some students struggle with that, and I'm going to offer you now two other methods you can use to get the same answers. See if you like either of these. Let's look at a thermometer. We can take, when we're collecting numbers together, take the first one to give us our starting point on the thermometer. And the second number can tell you which way to move. So, if I say plus 3 plus 5, 
then we start at plus 3 and we move along plus 5 in the positive direction 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we've ended up at plus 8 so plus 3 plus 5 is plus 8 now what about minus 5 minus 2 well I start at minus 5 and this time take 2 off go in the negative direction 1, 2 it's minus 7 so minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 plus 4 minus 1 start at plus 4 take off 1 we move down to plus 3 plus 5 minus 9 start at plus 5 by the time we've gone down 5 1 2 3 4 5 we're at 0 but we've still got another 4 to take off 1, 2, 3, 4. And we end up at minus 4. Minus 7 plus 3. Start at minus 7, add on 3. 1, 2, 3, and we get to minus 4. Minus 2 plus 8. Start at minus 2, add on 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we end up at plus 6. And finally, minus 3 starting point, add on 3, 1, 2, 3, and we get to 0. And if I just flash back to the previous page, we'll see that the answers are exactly the same. We've got 8 minus 7, 3 minus 4, and there's the 8 minus 7, 3 minus 4, and the right hand column minus 460 and we've still got minus 460. One more method. How about if we consider it as a football match? The pluses are playing the minuses. Who wins and how many do they win by? Well if we look at this one, plus 3 plus 5, the pluses have scored all the goals. They've scored 8 goals. So the pluses win by 8. What about this match? The minuses have scored all the goals. How many have they scored? Seven altogether. So the minuses win by seven. What about this game? Who's won? The pluses or the minuses? Well, the pluses score four, the minuses score one. So the pluses have won by three. And the answer is plus three. This match, the minuses have won because we've got more minuses. How many have they won by? They've won by four. This match as well, the minuses have won by 4. Here, the positives have won, and they've won by 6. This match was a draw, so no one's won. The answer's not positive, it's not negative, it's 0. And again, we've got the same answers as before. You can use whichever method you like, but what's essential for your GCSE is when you come across two sign numbers, you're 100% confident you can resolve what they are and come up with the right answer. And now would be a good time to pause this video and do the first exercise, exercise A, on sign numbers. Right, now we'll move on to look at collecting like terms together in algebra. I've got nine examples here which illustrate all the things you need to know. So the first one. 5x plus 2y plus 3x plus 4y. We have to understand that we can only collect x's with x's, and we can only collect y's with y's. So if we have a look at the x's first, we've got 5x plus 3x, which is 8x. And then the y's plus 2y plus 4y, and that gives us plus 6y. And now we've collected together the like terms. X's are like other X's, Y's are like other Y's. Example two. Important here to realize that the sign belongs to the thing that comes after it. So when I'm sorting out the X's, this does not say 7X take away some X's. It says 7X plus X, and that is 8X. So that minus sign belongs to the y's. Minus 3y plus 7y. Opposite signs, but more positives. That gives us plus 4y. 
minus 3y plus 7y is plus 4y. Moving on to number 3. Now this time we've got three different kinds of terms. We've got p's, we've got q's, and we've got a number sitting there on its own. And we can't collect that plus 7 with the p's or the q's. It has to stay on its own. We could collect it with another number if there was one, but that's all. Right, let's sort the p's to start with. 5p minus 2p gives me 3p. Now the q's, plus 3q minus 9q. Again, I'm looking at the sign immediately before it to tell me what to do. Plus 3q minus 9q is minus 6q. And then I've got that plus 7. I can't simplify it any further. It has to be there as a term on its own. Example 4. This time we've got x squareds. We've got xy's, we've got yx's. Now I can only collect x squareds with x squared, so let's do that first. I've got 6x squared plus x squared, so altogether that's 7x squared. Now we can only collect the same combinations of letters, but xy's actually are the same as yx's. They've both got y and x in multiplied together. It's just that in one example it's in alphabetical order, the other it's not. So this is the one exception where we can collect them together and we'll just call them x, y's. So we've got plus 2 of them minus 5 of them, which is minus 3 of them. So it's minus 3 x, y. And I could have written minus 3 y, x. But that's the only time you can collect different combinations of letters when essentially they're the same combination in a different order. Example 5. We've got HKs, we've got PQs. 5HK minus HK, 5 minus 1 of them is 4 of them, so I've got 4HK. And the PQs, I've got minus 3PQ plus 2PQ. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, so that's minus 1PQ. But I'm not going to write minus 1, I'm just going to write minus PQ. It wouldn't be wrong if you put minus 1pq, but we normally miss the 1s out at the front. Let's move on now to look at four more examples. 5x squared minus 5x squared. Well, the x squareds cancel out. 5 take away 5 is 0, but we don't write 0x squared. We just miss it out. It's gone. What about the y squareds? y squared plus y squared is 2y squared. So the answer to this one is just 2y squared. Now I've got p's, q's and r's in this example 7. Sort them out one at a time. 7p plus p is equal to 8p. Now I'll sort the q's. Minus 2q minus another 2q is minus 4q. And finally plus 3r plus 5r is plus 8r. Final answer, 8p minus 4q plus 8r. Example 8. This time we've got x's, we've got numbers on their own. I can collect the x's with x's and the numbers on their own with other numbers on their own. 5x minus 7x is minus 2x. And minus 3, minus 4, all negatives, so it gives me even more negatives, 7 altogether. Minus 2x, minus 7. And our last example, what have we got? We've got PQRs, QRPs, and RQPs. But they are all essentially the same. As I said, each one of those has a P, a Q, and an R multiplied together. And the order doesn't matter. So I can Treat them all as PQRs, which would mean I had 1 PQR minus 2 PQR plus 5 PQR. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 5 is 4. So altogether, I can write this as 4 PQR. And I could put those three letters in any order. It wouldn't matter. Right, that concludes this lesson. What you need to do now is work through exercise B collecting like terms.